Hello, my friends. Thank you for joining me today at the Punlo Coffee Table. I was sitting down to do our Bible study for this week, and I got some news from the Philippines. One of our students died yesterday, and um, my, my spirit mourns for Eden and her family. We've had uh, we've had a lot of people in our lives die over the last few years: family, friends, parents, children. And I know we all mourn. And, and God says it's okay to mourn. Uh, I found myself uh, just heavy at heart this morning after learning learning of this and I don't usually do things this way but a scripture came to my mind it's out of Matthew chapter 5 it's the Beatitudes verse 4 says blessed are those who mourn for they will be comforted and I know when we're going through pain it's not easy to be comforted. It's not easy to understand, you know, what what is going on? Why has this happened? Those are all questions we all ask. And uh, for some reason, after reading that scripture, I was compelled to turn to Psalm 121 and some of you may know this this is one of my my most favorite psalms and let, let me read it to you i lift up my eyes to the mountains where does my help come from my help comes from the lord the maker of heaven and earth he will not let your foot slip he who watches over you will not slumber indeed he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day and the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your comings in your goings, both now and forevermore. Amen. Let me just open with a prayer. Heavenly Father, in times of loss, we are at a loss. We don't know what to do, Lord. We, we don't understand, but we trust you, Lord. We love you, Lord. And we know that you know, well, quite frankly, you know better than we do. I know as humans we sometimes have the wrong perspective and help us help us to get the right perspective, Lord, so that we can have peace, not only with what has happened, but what is going to happen. We, we know we have hope in you, Lord. Uh, I love this kid, Lord. Uh, I looked forward to, to meeting her for the first time in a few weeks. But now I'll have to wait for eternity, and I, I, I trust you, Lord. I know you love her more than, than we did. And I'm thankful that I know that she, she got to know you, Lord, and that she loved you, Lord. And I trust that, that you'll do what is right, and I'll have a chance to meet her in eternity. And I pray for her family, Lord. I know I know how much pain they have to be going through. That they might lean on you, Lord, and trust in you. We we probably will never understand in this life, but trust God and his plan. And he will give you that peace that exceeds all possible understanding. 
comfort them, Lord. Give them the strength to do the next right thing. And I pray in your name, Lord Jesus. Amen. So, when God says that he's going to protect us, he doesn't say that's from death. I think as humans, we often miss the point of the Bible, and that is that it's not about protecting us from death. Death is but a transition to our eternal life. And our eternal life starts when we, when we first accept Jesus into our lives and we begin a relationship with him, the King of Kings. We become children of the Most High, you know, sons and daughters of God. And when that happens, our eternal life began. We still are living this life. We're still burdened by the things of this world. And it hurts when we lose people that we care about. No matter who it is in your life, uh, eventually they're going to die. I'm going to die. You're going to die. And that's not a bad thing. I know a few years ago I was faced with death, uh, with COVID in the hospital, and I didn't die, but I thought I was. And for me, it was, it was okay because I knew there was something beyond the here and now. I knew there was more and I could trust Jesus. So I know it doesn't provide very much comfort when we've lost someone because it's easier for us to die than it is for people that are close to us to die. But know that God loves you. And he cares for you. And another verse that came to me was out of uh, Jeremiah. This is probably one of my favorite verses in the Bible. Uh, Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 11. And this is God speaking. And he says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. And then you will call on me and come and pray to me, and I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. I will be found by you, declares the Lord. I think we often stop in, in verse 11. I know I do. And, and as I read on today, I realized that it, the plans God has for us are far beyond our earthly life. And I know, unfortunately for me, uh, I, I have to face trouble sometimes to recognize what God wants for me. Uh, I have to, I have to suffer, and none of us like to suffer. We we don't. But God wants what's best for us, and if it requires us to suffer in order for Him to get our attention, then we're going to suffer. It's better if we got allowed God to get our attention without that, obviously. But I think in these moments when someone we loved, someone we cared about has has died it brings a lot of these ideas and concepts to our mind in a way that it's necessary it's, it's important to refocus our lives on what is really most important which is God and we, we pray that God has done a work in that person's life and that we will have an opportunity to spend eternity with them when we are so blessed, and I do mean blessed, uh, to go to be with the Lord. Death is just the beginning. Even though when we're in these earthly forms, it seems like the end. Jesus came and suffered for us 
so that we could have that happily ever after when we die. And if the God of the universe was willing to suffer for us, we should not expect that we won't face some sufferings ourselves. And I know that is not a lot of comfort. I'm an engineer, I'm, I'm not a pastor, but what I can see is that God has a plan, even when it's not obvious. He has a plan, and God is in control of everything, even when it seems like it's not the best. We can't see that picture. We don't understand why. But there's a promise in the Bible that as children of God, he will take care of us. He will give us what we need when we need it. And I recognize now in my life, after some of the experiences I've had, that sometimes what's best for me could potentially be to die. It might be what's best for the people around me. And that's not a lot of comfort to those of us that are left behind. But we, we have to just rely on, on Jesus. We have to rely on God and celebrate the life of these people that we have lost. Now, I'm going to miss Eden. I never had a chance to meet her face to face. I read her letters. I, I used her testimony to speak to many people. And in fact, I have put her picture up and I have read her letters aloud in churches all over the U.S. And I... I'm thankful to God that I had the opportunity to get to know her in this life. The things she wrote me and the way she dealt with situations encouraged me and made my life better. And I'm very thankful to God for that. So, uh, again, I've if you tuned in for our Bible study today, I, I got a little derailed today because I, I was just caught off guard by, by this news. And I will uh, post our Bible study on Friday, all right? If you have any questions for me, please contact me. Um, again, this is not normally the type of message I would give, but if uh, anyone from... Eden's family is listening, or if anyone from the church there in Pennant is listening, or anyone else that has lost loved ones in the last few years, especially with the COVID and everything else that has gone on, just just trust in God. We do not we do not have to understand to understand that God loves so much that He was willing to die for us. So we can trust him with everything else. And if if you just need someone to listen, I'm here. You can email me and we can talk. I'm no help as a counselor, but I can listen. And one thing I can say is God is good, even when it doesn't seem so good. We wouldn't even know what good was if it wasn't for God. So until next time, from the Poonlaw Coffee Table. God bless everyone.